Welcome back, guys. So just the other day, we were talking about the Atari VCS and what its current status is, where they are at right now. It doesn't really seem like they were doing much of anything, in my opinion. A lot of people were pissed because they hadn't announced anything. They hadn't made any legitimate announcements over the entire summer other than just a bunch of basic social media posts hyping up their controllers and the shell of their system. And hey, you could pre-order it here. You could pre-order it there. They've never shown any games. This thing is supposed to come out in three months for early bird backers, and they haven't shown anything. Today, we're taking a look at the announcement they actually crafted. Remember, they said they were crafting an amazing announcement, and that's what we have to look at today. So really appreciate everybody on Twitter and social media who sent me DMs and whatnot asking about this, hitting me up. Hey, are you going to talk about this? I've been kind of under the weather, so I didn't get to jump on this right away. Finally got my ass up, and we're talking about it, taking a look at it. So what do we have here? Atari and AntStream have partnered together to provide some games for all of you guys who bought an Atari VCS. No, they're not free. This is a subscription service. Things could change. The game list could change. Things could be added. Things could be removed. This is a paid subscription service that started on Kickstarter. AntStream, Retro Gaming Reborn, available on PC, Mac, Xbox One, and mobile. I never heard of this before. Very interesting stuff, but this is really not a big announcement in my opinion, especially when you have people expecting to get this device in their hands come December for those early backers and then retail market in March. What are we looking at here? Okay, let's take a look at this article and kind of talk about a few things here because there's a lot of interesting stuff going on, also including their prototype board that they've finally shown. They're showing a prototype board in freaking September? This is this is crazy. This prototype should have been a long time ago. That's why they were on Indiegogo. That's why they locked all the, 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 the updates and all that stuff. There was never a prototype. There was never anything legit. They've finally shown a prototype, and people are still concerned with that. Is it a legit prototype? How are you showing a prototype three months before it's supposed to ship the backers? Makes no damn sense. But let's take a look at this uh, medium.com article, this uh like press announcement here from Atari VCS. So the Atari VCS team knows how important a marriage between games and hardware is. No, they do not. Because otherwise they would be signing indie developers, some kind of big name publishers and developers to get games exclusively signed to this device that will sell it. Yeah, maybe some HD updates to old school Atari games as well. Um, but some new stuff also that, that really would get people pumped up and be like, hells yes. You know what I mean? Like something, but they haven't announced anything. They're announcing, hey, you can pay a subscription service, uh, $8 a month or whatever it is, and get access to a couple hundred games. I don't think so, bro. So here we go. We've never lost sight of the reasons why we were building them, the games. They're talking about how they spent all this focus on talking about the, the hardware and the peripherals in their updates, which is all they did. On social media, all they ever talked about, they didn't talk about anything, let's be honest. They just said, hey, pre-order here, pre-order there. Here's a picture of a shell of a system with nothing in it. Uh, here's a picture of our controllers that Power A made for us. Like I said, to me, Power A is the mad cats of controllers in this day and age. They don't make the best of things, in my opinion. Maybe they'll work for this hardware. I don't know. Not really, you know, a main point of focus, in my opinion. I just know I personally don't like Power A products. I own some, and I think they're trash. That's just my opinion. Maybe they've crafted something amazing for Atari here, but who the hell knows? So continuing on, today we are taking the wraps off a huge new partnership with AntStream, a leading provider. How are they a leading provider that just barely got freaking crowdfunded this year a few months ago. What are you talking about? They are not a leading provider. Get out of here. This partnership means that when the Atari VCS lands in people's hands and homes in late 2019, early 2020, there will be plenty of classic Atari games to play, plus thousands of other fully licensed favorites from the heyday of classic consoles, desktops, and arcade gaming. There's some twisted shit right here, my, my friends. There's some real twisted shit. This thing was supposed to ship with Atari games for free, or, you know, you're buying a system, you're supposed to get so many Atari games, but now some of these Atari games, instead of just shipping on the console for you to play, are going to be part of this streaming service that you have to pay a monthly fee for. 
So I don't care what anybody says. Oh, well, no, these are in addition to. No, you're being dicked. Atari's saying, screw you guys. We want to make some money. So we're partnering with these guys to offer the streaming service. We're going to put so many games of ours that we own on there instead of giving you access on the system. They should just give you the whole access to all the Atari 26 and 7800 games from the get-go that they own. I mean, sure, uh, you know, they would like to make money, I guess. But <laughs> at the same time, it kind of seems like they're losing focus here. You're taking some classic games, putting it on a paid service instead of shipping it with the console. Doesn't make sense. And then the other thing that they continually talk about is there's tons of games. There's not tons of games. Here's the thing. On this service, and I've taken a look at it, the future of retro gaming, they have 500 plus games, social challenges, instant streaming, multiple devices from like eight pounds a month, plus more. I mean, there could be more, right? It, it, there's different levels of service usually, but they do have a game list here. And actually the games, there's some cool stuff on here. Don't get me wrong. Check out our full list of games, but you're already gonna see on here, you're gonna see some Data East stuff, some Neo Geo SNK stuff, some Techno stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff on here. I can't knock this service. I'm knocking Atari VCS, man. Like there's some cool stuff here. Like how the hell did they get SNK on board with this? But here's the list. And this is what I wanna point out. There's really only a few hundred games because a lot of these games, there's gonna be multiple versions for each one. Aftermath, you're getting the C64 and a Spectrum version. Uh, Artura, I don't, I'm not familiar with all these games, but Amiga, C64, Spectrum, you are getting multiple versions of act, you know, access to these games, which is kind of neat, but at the same time, it's not as many games as they're gonna make, they're gonna lead you to believe. It's not thousands of games, it's hundreds of games, right? So keep that in mind when you're looking at this service. There's some cool games here. Like I said, Baseball Stars, you got some Neo Geo stuff, Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja, one of my favorites. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This list is pretty cool. It's got me interested, but I probably would never pay this kind, you know, this money for this service. Brave Battle Saga. Interesting. They got some Pico Interactive stuff on here from what I'm seeing. I know that's one of their games. So Bump and Jump. You're getting a lot of stuff. Data East. Probably some Jalico stuff. I don't know. You're getting a bunch of stuff. Cave Mania. What the hell is that? But yeah, you're getting a few hundred games. And that's where we're at with that. You're not getting thousands, so keep that in mind. So here we go. The service is in addition to the 100 plus games already included with the free copy of Atari Vault. So you are getting 100 or so games on your VCS from Atari. So that's cool, I guess. That's cool. But if you want access to whatever these other ones are that we don't even know yet, you got to pay for it, which I get it. Like, you know, we have to pay for our games. I understand, but these streaming services to me, or kind of an unproven thing. I'm not going to pay you guys like $10 a month, whatever it is, to have access to games that probably won't stay on that service forever. Who's to say this ant stream thing doesn't go bankrupt at some point and the service is gone? This is, this is, a, and this is more likely to happen, in my opinion, than something like with Nintendo Switch with their online service where you pay your $20 a year um, and you get access to NES and Super Nintendo games. Sure, they could, I'm sure in their terms of service, they could remove games, add games, do whatever the hell they want, discontinue the service whenever they want. But I think Nintendo, we don't really have a concern of that happening for a long while. Maybe at the point when the Switch is out of its life cycle and they've moved on to something else, that service will be discontinued. It only makes sense. But this service, I, I would be more worried about. They were backed on Kickstarter for 70,000 pounds. What the hell? Like they could just disappear overnight. I mean, you could pay for a year service. You could pay for a month service. You can wind up getting dicked from this, this company. I'm not saying it'll happen, but it's a, a legit concern that you have to go into it knowing I'm going to invest in this. Just like the people who back the Atari VCS project, you, you invested in something you you're gambling. Who the hell knows what's going to happen with this thing? It, 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 it could just be another, um, the hell was that thing? This could be just another uh, uh, Ouya. This, that's what it could be. Who knows for sure? I, I'm just, I'm really skeptical on what's going on here. I know people are going to be like, it's not a scam, this and this and that. But when you look further into this, three months to ship, 
They haven't shown shit. Let's just be honest, because there's they even have the prototype board here. We're going to look at that in a second. When Atari VCS users log in or subscribe to the AntStream service using their VCS, it'll immediately unlock an exclusive and enhanced version of the AntStream app engineered specifically for the VCS. Okay. The, the, the VCS edition of the app will house the largest collection of Atari games available anywhere and ready for immediate play. This enhanced collection will be exclusive to the VCS and will not be available on other AntStream platforms without an Atari VCS account. So you're getting some exclusive stuff. All right, there we go. See here, Atari has authorized its complete library of more than 300 different games um, and collections to appear on the AntStream service. Cool. Our plan is for the Atari VCS AntStream app to debut with at least 50 Atari Home and Arcade titles, plus the full lineup of licensed games that they have, which includes Sega Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, Nintendo 64, what the hell? Okay, Commodore 64, 2600, Atari ST, PC, Atari 5200, uh, Nintendo NES, Sega Master System, Neo Geo, and television, and many more. But they can't really advertise, like, hey, this is an NES game. Like, they can't, like, attach Nintendo to it. They can't attach Sega to it. They can only say these are the games. But watch what happens, because At Games has fucked up on this end in the past. Um, with their latest flashback console, they're not allowed to use those companies' logos. At Games has messed up with this, and it not I haven't really seen too many people talk about that. If Atari with this AntStream service does the same thing, some of these companies could get a little pissed at them. You showed the Nintendo logo, you showed copyright Nintendo, you showed copyright Sega. Like, unless those companies are involved, which they're not, and you know, from the way it looks, Nintendo's not going to be like, yeah use our copyright because you know a lot of their games especially from the nes would say licensed by nintendo or whatever so they have to remove that stuff we'll have to wait and see how that happens oh and they got in television games too so never mind about the uh the amico this has got you covered right they're showcasing some neo geo stuff here interesting i'm not knocking this service i'm just saying like what the heck atari what the heck so they just keep talking about the same thing you got a bunch of games. And they show this prototype board um, that I've been hearing a lot of people talk about that I'm finding very interesting uh, because one of the big things is this Ask PCB. It does have the Atari logo on here. This board is populated. Um, it does have the Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen chip there, which they've already stated. Uh, they do have some of the ports back here, uh, the Ethernet uh, port, power, USB, all that good stuff. We don't know what exactly is going on with everything here because this Ask PCB, and I've seen a lot of people talking about this company, they're a company that fast tracks like prototype assembly of boards. Like you need something to show and you need it quick. Hit us up. We're your man. We're going to showcase this stuff. We're going to get it out there to you so you could, you know, show your prototypes. Like if they were would have went on Kickstarter, they would have needed a, a prototype. So they could have went with these guys couple years ago right but no they just recently went to these guys to get a prototype board they have it dated right here september 2019 they just got this prototype board from ask pcb these guys have a very quick turnaround time uh you know days essentially they got this thing put together who even knows if this thing actually functions right it's just a board that's all it is it's just a board we don't know if this is legit or not if this is just some kind of half-assed populated board, um, because this is something that should have been a long, been done a long time ago. So that's another thing that's kind of curious. P.S. Please head over to the AtariVCS.com um, website to learn more about the VCS and peripherals. Wow, pre-sales on GameStop, Walmart, never been a better time to get in on the fun. I don't know. Let's look at some of the responses here. Looks like there's a few more since uh, I last looked. I honestly don't know how I feel about this. So at launch, after spending 300 plus, I have to now spend more money just to play games. Which, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a given, right? But they're talking about specifically paying for a, 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 a service and not actually getting games, right? Also, I thought the 8 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte was a typo. That's the actual size of memory. How the hell are we supposed to play anything relatively new, even indie games? This thing's going to hold like six games and forget about anything. Yeah, 
what the heck? You're definitely going to have to expand the memory, right? Uh, what else? I understand being upset for spending money on a game streaming service, but even Google's free streaming service, you must purchase your game and you could stream it for free from them. Yeah. So you spend 60 for the game and can free stream it. Currently, no machine, console, or PC gives you free games. You buy the hardware and... And then you purchase the game. I mean, that's that's a perfectly uh, suitable argument there. It's true. You got to pay for your games. Nobody's giving away games for free. But it's just, like I said, it's more so that the, the announcement they crafted is a subscription service and not some exclusive games that's coming to the system. With three months or less to go, what are you going to have to play other than all this old stuff that's available in a lot of other places? Let's just be honest here. You can emulate every single one of these games on this Antstream service. And many of you guys who watch my channel do, you know, all these games can be played on Raspberry Pi, uh, on Mr. For the most part, we could play these games elsewhere. We have access to these games elsewhere. There's a lot of systems, a lot of services that offer these games for sale um, or, you know, in different fashions, mini arcades, handhelds. Uh, different things like that. The Evercade um, retro handheld that's going to use cartridges has a lot of these games um, available for it. So this isn't going to be the only place you could play these games. It's just, where are the actual games? Where's the exclusive stuff? Where's the stuff that makes me, somebody who's extremely skeptical, go like, fuck yeah, I'm buying a VCS. Because they're not showing anything. They haven't crafted Jack. So hey guys, that's my video for the day. Hopefully I start feeling a little better, man. I had to get pumped up on that day quill and whatnot to try to, to even be able to sit here and talk to you guys today, man. I feel bad. I feel really bad about that. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. But hey, really do appreciate it. Let me know what you think. And with that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye.